Family First, Angelina Jolie shocked her fans by announcing she had a preventative double mastectomy. She carries the rare gene BRCA1. Now that gives her an almost 90% chance of developing breast cancer and possibly ovarian cancer sometime in her life. Now ovarian cancer took the life of her mother back in 2007. Dr. Danielle Gindelsberger of Dean Clinic Family Medicine joins us now with more. Doctor, thank you so much for coming in this morning. Thanks for having me, Christine. Who should get tested for BRCA1 or BRCA2? It really depends on your family history. Right now, there's no standard guidelines that tell us exactly who should be tested. But if you have two relatives in your family that are what we call first degree relatives, so mom, sister, daughter, that have breast cancer, definitely looking into the being gene tested is important. Also, if you have a male in your family with breast cancer, you should consider being tested because that's so much more uncommon. Okay, now that would be pretty much a blood test and I understand it's pretty costly that insurance mm -hmm. won't always pick up about $3,000. Exactly, so it's not an inexpensive test. Um, depending upon your insurance, depends upon if it's covered or not, but definitely looking at family history can help lead to that. Um, we also recommend once you look at your family history and if it is in your family, talking to a genetic counselor to really help delineate if you want to be tested because it's a very personal and emotional decision. Oh, it, it definitely is. And right now there is no test for ovarian cancer. Mm -hmm. We were hoping in the late 90s that a blood mm -hmm. test would finally yeah. give us a test for if we were predisposed or if we were developing ovarian cancer. Mm -hmm. So I can understand why some women not mm -hmm. only choose the double mastectomy but also the hysterectomy. Mm -hmm. Yep, with the removal of the ovaries as well with the oophorectomy. But as you can imagine, that's a very emotional decision to try of to course. decide. Of course. And it's amazing that Angelina Jolie came out and said, hey, I had this done, especially because, you know, body image is such an important part of our society mm -hmm. and culture for women. But also, she does have the money to mm -hmm. have that test. Mm -hmm. She also has the money. She got breast implants, reconstructive Correct. surgery. Because mm -hmm. when we're talking about a mastectomy, whether it be double mastectomy, mastectomy or a single mastectomy, mm -hmm. you are removing that breast. Removing the entire breast and all the tissue around it. And what most people don't think about with a mastectomy is, is that you remove overlying skin as well. So sometimes you'll need skin grafting and you'll need a staging procedure actually to stretch that tissue again so that you can have implants. So for a woman who has had breast cancer, maybe she doesn't mm -hmm. have family history, should mm -hmm. she be getting this gene test? Mm -hmm. Because what if, if I had breast cancer, I would want to know, am I carrying BRCA1 mm -hmm. or 2? Because mm -hmm. then I'd be considered, I'd be very worried about the silent killer in women, ovarian cancer. Should I then go and get that gene test? It really goes back to family history again. Um, only 5 to 10 percent of all breast cancers are actually linked to the BRCA gene. So it's a very small percentage. Um, however, if you do have the gene, you're 60 to 80 percent chance of actually having breast cancer. So if you have it, your sister has it, definitely looking into being tested. But if you're the only one, still very uncommon that it's because of this BRCA gene. All right, very important to talk to your doctor, talk mm -hmm. to your family as well. Doctor, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Really appreciate this. Thank you're you. You're welcome. Charlie?